Good morning, fourth graders. This is going to be a continuation of our first recorder lesson that we had last week. Last week we reviewed the note names on the lines and the spaces of the staff. So let's just quickly go over that with your hand staff. Lines first. E, G, B, D, F. Every good boy does fine. Empty garbage before dad freaks. And then we had our little song, our little jingle that helped us remember it as well. E, G, B, D, F. 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 Then we have the notes that sit in between the lines in what's called a space. And we don't have to have a trick for that because F, A, C, E rhymes with space. F, A, C, E, bottom to top. <clears throat> we had a little jingle that went with that as well. F, A, C, E, face. Each one is the name of a space on the treble clef. F, A, C, E, face. Each one is the name of a space. F, a space, A. A space C, a space E. All right, so that's the letter names. That's what tells you which holes to cover and to uncover on your recorder. But before we play, today we need to talk about note values. The rhythm of a note, how long you hold it, is the note value. Now we started in second grade learning about our note values. We started with a note that's shaded in with a stem. I'm going to do it backwards. There we go. And that, as you remember, is a quarter note. A quarter note gets one beat of sound. And our notes, we have names and we have nicknames. And the quarter note nickname was Ta. So, <laughs> so for the quarter note, if you've got four in a row, it's one steady beat. Ta, 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 ta. Here is a quarter note. One beat of sound nickname ta. If we don't shade it in, it's longer. It's a two beat note called a half note. Not shaded in, a half note. Its nickname is two, two, it gets two beats. If we're clapping them, two, two, Quarter note, half note, and then we also have beats of silence. Beats of silence are called rests, not notes. Notes are beats of sound. A half rest, hat on your head, half rest. Two beats of silence. Okay, so now let's look at our first song. First, at the bottom of each song, it will have new skills for you to learn. Okay, if a hole is darkened, it's covered up. If it's not darkened, it's open. That's an open hole. So look at my B picture. Notice that the top hole and the back thumb hole are darkened. That means everything else is open. Now, remember, with the recorder, 
or any woodwind instrument, clarinet, saxophone, oboe, bassoon. Left hand is on top. It doesn't matter if you're right-handed or left-handed. Left hand goes on top. The first three holes are left hand fingers. The, the left hand pinky never plays. All of the holes underneath are right hand fingers. So on this page, you can see there's a line. That line separates the left hand from the right hand. Left hand on the top, right hand on the bottom. It's gonna look like my right hand because this is a video. And I'm sure there's a way to flip it around, but I don't know how to do that. So if you have trouble remembering right and left, before you start to play, I have trouble remembering right and left. When I was a little girl, I had to wear a ring on my left hand to remember that was my left hand. So if you have trouble, just put a scrunchie or something on your wrist, put a bracelet on there, put a, a ring or something on your left hand to remind yourself that the left hand goes on top. Now, before we try to play our song today, I want you to take your left hand, put the first three fingers down. Now put your four right hand fingers down. Now lift your right hand fingers. That is where your thumb goes. The thumb is an anchor. It holds the recorder up. So those four fingers, put them down lift them. You won't need them for a while. We're not using right hand fingers for a while. But that thumb is an anchor. You can't hold it steady without your anchor there. Pretty soon your thumb's just automatically going to go there. But don't hold it down here and don't hold it up here to anchor it. Put your fingers down, lift them, and there it is. Now right now I'm going to put my fingers in B playing position. So I'm going to lift the bottom. I'm going to lift number two. I've got back thumb and I've got top um, hole completely covered. We're going to play some quarter note B's. This is third line B, like this. It's not, it's going to be one breath. Okay, let's play some B's. Notice I did not breathe in between each one. It was one steady breath and my tongue changed it. Touch the roof of your mouth with your tongue. Now I'd like you to play some half note Bs. So you won't touch your tongue until the second beat is finished. Let's try some. Ready? And. You might have heard me tapping my foot. When my foot tapped the second time, that was the end of my half note. Let's try some more B's that are half notes, not shaded in. Okay, so quarter note B's, ta. Half note B's. Okay, now A, let's look at the picture. A is two fingers. Which hand? Left hand. And your back thumb. Your back thumb won't lift for a long time. Back thumb, two fingers. Remember, dents are good. And say this after me. The lower you go, the softer you blow. So as you are putting fingers down your recorder, it's even a bit softer with your breath. It's not a blow, it's a breath. 
So A is lower than B, so a little less air. Look at my fingers. When I go to A, I don't twist. Keep them flat. You want flat fingertips. So my back thumb is covered, my B is covered, and now my A is covered, and dents are good. Now let's do some quarter note amazing A's. Ta. Again. So blow a little teeny tiny bit softer. Now we're going to play some half note A's. How long will we hold them? Yep, two. Here we go. One more time. Two half note A's. Now let's try switching from B to A. Quarter note, B to A. Ready? B. Okay, so your homework for this lesson is to next time I come, which might even be today, I want a beautiful B and amazing A. Beautiful B and amazing A. Next lesson, we're going to do a gorgeous G. G is a little harder. If you want to work ahead and start practicing on your G, it's important, extra important, that you don't turn your fingers. That's why we did those exercises. So you keep your fingers flat, straight, and flat when you go to G. And G, you have to blow softer or it's going to squeal. Remember the too high, the wobble, and the train whistle. It's real easy when you go to G, if you're not holding your fingers steady, to let B slide off the hole a little bit. It's real easy. It's going to go too high every time. Okay? So nice and steady, firm fingers. We'll practice G next time, and we'll start working on our white belt song. Have a good afternoon. Love all of you. Miss you too. Bye-bye.